Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is check if a substring is repetition of its substring of length k and it is a medium wave problem. So without diving deep into this problem statement, let me explain you what they mean by it. So let us say we have six characters in a substring, right? So this is my string actually, this is my original string and then I have been given a value of k is equal to 2. So I have to consider substrings in such a way such that the first one is this one, the second one is this one and the third one is this one, right? So now what happens actually is the first substring will be a substring of length 2 and then the second substring cannot start from this particular position. It will start after the first substring has ended. So this will be the second substring and the next substring will start when the previous substring has ended. So this way they have defined multiple substrings and in each case like uh, this value of k should be a divisor of n. Only then we will be able to form such substrings. So if n mod k is a value greater than 0 that means our answer is straight away no. Right. Our task is to determine by using only one operation and can we make this uh, whole substrings all of these three substrings equal or not. Right. So let me reiterate this part again. We can make one operation such that we can copy any substring into any other substring. So as they have given in the example, if it is written AB here and it is written let's say BC here. So we can take this particular substring and copy it here, right. So now if this was also AB, this middle one will also become AB and all of them are equals to AB now. Hence the answer is possible because it is a repeated string, right. This is uh, what they are trying to say. Now uh, they say that th to convert they will take two substrings of length k starting at different positions and we will replace one of the substrings with the other right. So you are allow only allowed to do one such operation uh, such that you copy one substring over the other and after that all of the substring should become equal. If they are not equal the answer is false or 0 if they are equal the answer is 1. So in this particular case if n mod k is greater than 0 the answer is straight away 0 because you will not be able to get such substrings right. Now only if uh, n is divisible by k, you will be able to get some certain number of substrings like this, right. Now from here on, what we will try to do is, we will try to maintain the frequency of these substrings. So actually I did it wrong in the first way. So I tried this problem and I made a wrong submission. Although it was getting accepted, that clearly means the test cases are not updated yet. And I uh, will show you why my first approach was wrong and my second approach is correct, right. So let us consider some examples and let us see what happens. Let us say the value of k is 1 so that each substring is only a single character. Now if I have a, b, a, 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 a situation like this. So what will happen? I can replace this particular b with this particular a, right, or any of these a's. So now it will become a, 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 a. Now all of the substrings of length 1 has become equal and thus the answer is possible. So you see the answer will only be possible if this outlier which is different only has a frequency 1, right. So that basically means if there is only one outlier and its frequency is also 1, these are two conditions. First of all, if there are multiple outliers, let us say A, B, C, right. So you see and then we have let us say a lot of A's, right. So you see there are two outliers. In this particular case, the answer is not possible because I can only replace one of the substrings, right. But if there is only one type of outlier A, B, B, A, 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 again, its frequency has to be 1. I cannot replace two b's with these a. I can only replace one of the b's with the a, right. And still one of the b's will be remaining. So there are two conditions. First of all, the number of different uh, elements or the number of different substrings should not exceed 2. This is my first condition, right. As soon as it becomes 3, as in this particular case, there are three unique substrings of length 1. In this particular case, my answer is not possible. Now in this case, when the number of substrings, unique substrings is 2, again my answer is not possible because one of the substrings has frequency greater than 1. So there can be three cases here. Uh, let us discuss them. So case number 1 will be when all of the characters are same, right. So the number of unique substrings, unique substrings is 1, right. Now case 2 is when there are two different types of characters, so A, A, A and B let us say. So the number of unique substrings is 2 here and the frequency of one of them should be n by k minus 1 and the other one of them should be equal to 1, 
right and in this particular case the frequency will be n by k itself right frequency of this particular a's now in case 3 what happens let's say we have multiple b's right like this so the number of unique substrings are still 2 but their frequency will not be this one right so in this case you see the frequency was n by k minus 1 and 1 but in this case the frequency is different in this case like let's say it is 3 and 2 one of them should be equals to 1 if i want them to fall under case 2 right so this is what uh, i missed i missed this particular case 3 during my first summation although my summation got accepted but it is wrong so if it falls in the first two cases then the answer is yes otherwise the answer is no right now let's let us also design case 4 so this will be a a a b b c c so in this case the number of unique substrings is greater than 2 in this case also the answer is no so the answer is no here the answer is no here and the answer is yes here in the first two cases right so i covered during my first summation i covered case 1 case 2 and case 4 but case 3 was not covered let me show you my first summation so you see that uh, here what i have done is i have used first of all a set of substrings right and inside it it stores vector of integers so why have, have i taken this vector of integers i currently have a frequency vector right why only a frequency vector so the substring operation in uh, the string or in c++ is very expensive so if i want to calculate too many substrings it might take some time i did not try it but uh, i believe it will take you large amount of time so what i instead did was i maintained a frequency array which is going to store the frequency of all the characters in a particular substring now i am inserting this frequency array inside this substring set right now remember this solution was wrong why because you see i am checking this particular condition when substring size is greater than 2 i am going to return 0 but i am not checking case 3 anywhere and i am directly returning 1 at the end so this solution was accepted but it will fail in a scenario like this so for example the value of k is 2 then we have a b then we have c d then we have a b and we have c d right so it will fail in a scenario like this where this a b can replace this particular c d or maybe the other way around as well this c d can replace this particular a b but there will still be different substrings like these right so it was getting accepted but it is wrong so i improved the solution so as you can see my letter submission is also accepted so in this particular case i created a map of substrings and instead of inserting it into the set i am inserting or incrementing the frequency of the current uh, frequency array by 1. Now if its size becomes greater than 2 then obviously I have to return 0 otherwise what I am trying to do is I am trying to get the frequency of the first element in the map. So what are the different cases in this particular scenario? So either the frequency can be 1 right I have covered it here in case 2 right so in this case the element was this one and its frequency was 1. The other thing can be the frequency can be n by k minus 1 right so that is also in case 2 that the frequency is n by k minus 1 you see inside the map i have no control whether this particular element will be at the first position or this particular element will be at the first position so it can be either one or it can be n by k minus 1 but it might also be the case that the current string belongs to case 1 so in that case it can also be n by k right so what i have done i have checked it for 1 and then i have checked it for greater than n by k minus 1 right so in this case n by k minus 1 as well as n by k are both considered in this particular situation right and i just return this boolean expression even if one of them is true the whole answer is true now how, do, how am i actually calculating the frequency array so if i have to start a substring from the current string i am removing all the characters of the previous substring of length k and then i am adding all the characters to the next of it right so basically what i am trying to do is let's say i am at this particular position i I have previous k characters and I have some next k characters right I am removing the frequency of all of these characters and I am adding the frequency of all of these characters right and then I move up my i to this particular position then I will remove the frequency of all of these characters and then I add the frequency of all of these characters right this is exactly what I am doing now it might also be the case but that my i is equal to 0 right and I do not have any previous substrings so I also check here whether j is, j is greater than minus 1 or not right so i am starting from i minus k i am going to less than i and i am making sure that j is greater than minus 1 and i am incrementing j in this way i am decrementing the frequency of all of the characters now starting from i going to less than i plus k i am incrementing the frequency of all the characters and then 
inserting this particular uh, vector into my map substring right so this way the total space or the extra space you will use is equals to n by k into 26 right so n by k will be the size of the map right in the maximum sense and each of these uh, maps will have 26 characters right so this is how you could solve this particular problem now there might be other solutions as well and as you can see the test the test cases are still not correct so i uh, clicked it by mistake so the test cases are still not correct but this will be the final solution which i believe is correct and this is get also getting accepted but uh, i've given you a counter example of why this is wrong i believe geeks for geeks need to update the test cases on this particular problem I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.